Thank you very much for coming back. In the first two sections, we've been trying to consider how to express um, functions in terms of infinite series. In the second section, we talk about um, periodic functions and we consider um, some functions that are periodic and they are also sinusoidal. And we consider sine and then cos. And I gave you an assignment on tan x that we should go and check that um, we're going to discover that the period of tan x is what is pi, which means that it's going to complete a cycle at pi. So in this video, we want to consider some functions that they are not sinusoidal, but they are periodic. If you look at the screen, you will see an example of a function. If you look at this function very well, you see that um, this function here is actually periodic because we can see that um, when x is from 0 to 5, one cycle has been completed. <laughs> so we can call it a periodic function. But the point is this. Can we say this one is sinusoda? No, no, no. It's not. So this is what we want to consider now in this class. So we want to consider how to represent them. Example 3.1. Look at this graph, which you can all see that um, it's periodic and it is not sinusoidal. The point now is this. What is the period? If you look critically, you will notice that from 0 to 8, a cycle has been completed. So if that cycle is completed, then another cycle starts from 8 to 16. That is the second cycle. So we can say that the period is what? The period is 8 meters per second. Let's consider example 3.2. This is another function again. You can see the graph here that um, what we can see on the screen is that this graph of function f of t is indeed periodic, but it is not sinusoidal. And if you look at this very well, you will see that um, a cycle has been completed from t equals to 0 to t equals to 6. Then from 6 again, another cycle. So the point is this. What is the period? The period is 6 meters per second. So let's consider example 3.3. Now we are asked to use this graph below to define analytically the periodic function. Now the first thing is this, from 0 to 4, that is from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4. What is f of x? f of x is 3 throughout. f of x is 3 throughout. But from 4 to 6, f of x is what? f of x is 0. And that is when we can say that we've completed a cycle. So because of this, we can say that um, f of x plus 6 is equals to what? f of x. So f of x plus 6 is equals to what? f of x. So from here, we can say that the periodic function has a period of what? The period of 6. Has a period of 6. So that is why you cannot say that, um, we can say that at x equals to 6, a period has been completed. So thereafter, we have another period. So from this example 3.3 now, we can actually use a piecewise divine function Aha, to explain this. So that is all we just need to do. We can see the final answer is that f of x is 3. That is when x ranges from 0 to 4. f of x is also 0 when x ranges from what? From 4 to 6. And we can see that f of x plus 6 because f of x means that the function f of x is a periodic function of period 6. Example 3.4. We can see another function on the screen, which is also a periodic function, but not sinusoidal. So we are asked to define it analytically. So which means that we are to use something like a piecewise divine function to explain what the function is all about. You know, now let's look at it critically. You will see we can all see that um, when x is from 0 to 5, a cycle has been completed. And from there, we can see that the period is what? The period is 5. So we can see that f of x plus 5 is equal to what? f of x. That is a periodic function of period 5. So another thing we need to consider now is that um, we need the slope. Because we can see that from x equals to 0 to 3, we can see a, 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 a line, a straight line with a negative slope. So how do we capture the slope? We know the changes in y, that will be from 2 plus 1 over changing in x. That is from 0 to 3. So we can see that the slope is what is 1. So if you remember that um, uh, equation of a straight line, that is y equals to mx plus c. And where c is what? The intercept on the y-axis. So if you look at this now, what is the intercept on the y-axis? The intercept is actually 2. It's 2. So uh, from here, the slope here is actually minus 1. Please take note of that. 
m here is minus one the slope is minus one not one the slope is minus one so we can see that so we now see that um f of x is what two minus x when x is from zero to three and f of x is minus one because you can see that from three to five when x is three to when x is five we can see that f of x is what is negative which is minus one so that comes to the end of that solution We share tutorial questions and answers it is all about understanding facts and sharing with others learning continues we are learning to know understand and share with others please, please subscribe, subscribe to, to our, our channel, channel if you like, like our videos, videos.